Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another video and where I'm going to tell you the 5 major changes that has been occurred in the immigration system. We're starting the video about the major changes. Let me tell you one thing. A very happy new year guys and thank you so much. I got almost 150 subscribers so I'm very happy. Hope you guys will again support me. So again, a very happy new year to all of you, all of my supporters, my subscribers and all of my viewers. In this year, you will have a very good year, I mean very good time, hope your all wishes, all of, you, all of your dreams will come true. So, let's begin the video. So in this video, let's talk about, I mean we are going to talk about the 5 major changes that has been occurred in 2019. Yes, just 3 days back from this day of uploading this video, there have been some changes in the immigration rules. I mean, Australian immigration department has made 5 major changes, so today we are going to talk about that. The first major change is that now there will be a longer processing for the partnership visa. Yes, in last year, November, yeah, in, in last year of November, there has been one bill which is passed, which is named as the Family Violence Bill. So because of this bill, now your application will take a longer time. So it will take a, maybe more time than it used to take before. So actually, now your application will need to get approved first before you launch for your visa. So now your, now your application will go through a stringent process to assess your history and your character and then only you will get your and in this year there have been one major changes i mean it's a very positive type of changes so suppose if you are a permanent resident or a citizenship of australia and if your parents live overseas so now you can what what you can do is that you don't need to do all of the long process you know to bring to bring your parents here with you so it's simple i mean they have made a bit simple that now you can bring your parents for the temporary period for example maybe for three years or five years uh, and then for that you know i mean you need to pay some money like five thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars respectively and this year only fifteen thousand applicants can only apply for their parents visa for temporary and the third way the change is that this year if if you have to apply for the student visa you need to show a certain amount of money more than twenty thousand dollars so before you know uh, if you have to apply for the student visa you don't need to so much money you know i mean it used to get depend on your college fee or the year uni fee but this time you have to at least you know show the source of the income for twenty thousand dollars and if you're applying for with a partner then additional seven thousand dollars fourth change is that this year atu will get access to get the, all of the information i mean what uh, what ATU is going to do is that he is going to check all of the data of the migrants you know usually of those migrants who came here i mean who who used to come here uh, with the sponsor of the employer you know what happened in reality is that there are lots of employers who actually do underpaid to those employers who come from foreign land you know suppose you know i mean what happened is uh, if uh, if I'm coming from Nepal, you know, I mean, usually um, people, you know, I mean, the employee in this country, they do underpaid, you know, they actually. So if if I, if I'm supposed to get six thousand dollars for one certain job of web developer, so what the uh, what employee do is that they just give me three thousand bucks or maybe three thousand five hundred bucks. So that means that I'm getting fifteen hundred bucks less, which is an underpaid. I mean, this is not fair. So this, I mean, to fix these things, to fix these breaches, HU has decided you know to check all the standards all right so this year there has been one of the fifth changes you know i mean this is the fifth change that i'm gonna tell you and it is very important you know if you are planning to do something startup or you want you, you have got something idea to business in this country especially in south australia actually this fifth rule is for the south australia not for the rest of the australia you know so if you are planning you know to start up you know to start some business or you have got something like entrepreneurship then actually it's now very easy you can get the visa of the startup visa like you know it is known as the startup visa where you don't need to you know do any funding like before what used to do is that before people must have at least two hundred thousand dollars you know to do business or what you can say i mean of course you need funding for the business but to get the startup visa before they used to must have two thousand two hundred thousand dollars but this time they don't need you know, i mean they don't need funding you know you the state government they just need your idea your planning you know that what are whatever business you know what is your planning or what are the things I mean, they just need your idea you know on the basis of your idea for the business they will provide in the startup visa so guys it's a very good opportunity for you if you want to do something great in this country you know you start with us south australia and of course you will achieve something good in there so guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys get some information something 
extra ordinary than the rest of the things I and mean, rest of the videos so thank you so much for watching my videos until this point and then if you guys have any question then you can leave your message in my facebook page or in my instagram page you know i will leave the link of my facebook page or the instagram in the description below description and then please guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more updated information about australia about student life about life and everything and see you in the next video guys enjoy and have a very good new year